Hi and welcome back to my channel. I asked a few of my wonderful subscribers what type of content they would like to see on my channel and the most popular request was a day in the life weekend edition San Francisco. Um, so most of the days, uh, most of my days in the morning I'll start with a cup of tea or coffee and that's what I'm showing you there. So as you can see I've got a couple of thermal cups around the house so that's my favorite um, and just normal cups um, and I'll either go for instant coffee or tea and you can see I've got almond milk there which is a dairy free option we have loads and loads of that in San Francisco and that will be my typical pick me up for the start of the day um, so I'll grab that and probably uh, start um, my day So at this point in the day, I'm kind of just chilling out, just getting ready for the day. I typically already know what we're going to do for the weekend because we have kind of discussed that during the week and there's just so much to explore and see in San Francisco. So there's some things that we do all the time, like uh, go to Japan Town and um, Sao Salido. And then there's sometimes we want to just check out new areas like we're going to do today. Um, so I'm just going to do that for a bit and obviously try and catch up with family, uh, make a few calls to family. Obviously, there is a difference in time zone between London and the Netherlands, where I'm from and where from my, my husband is from. So we typically use this time to catch up, um, catch the time that we're uh, in the same time zone as our family to just get a quick call and message. So I'll do that. And I'll also forward the uh, following clips kind of showing what I'm seeing, um, what I'm watching on YouTube uh, right now. Um, and before we leave the apartment, we'll kind of show you what we're wearing for the day before we head out um, to our first destination. So this is our look for today. And I'm just going for plain leggings and my husband's t-shirt. And he is going for the relaxed weekend look. Camouflage. Camouflage look. Catch you later. And this is the jacket of the day. Uh, need to stay warm, even though it's uh, usually sunny, but that's the jacket of the day. To a uh, different part of San Francisco. So today we chose to go to a place we haven't been so, so much. So it's an area in San Francisco called Bernal Heights. Uh, I don't know uh, where the heights come from, but it does happen to be on a hill, so that could have something to do with that. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to go and check that out. We typically Uber everywhere, so we don't have a car at the moment. And we live pretty central in San Francisco, so um, it works for us. We either walk everywhere or uh, take an Uber. We should use public transport a bit more. The uh, Our favourite mode of transport outside of the Uber is the ferry. And uh, if you want to see that on another video, uh, comment below. That's my favorite thing to do. Um, and you've probably, if you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, you've probably seen a lot of pictures with me in a place called South Toledo. That's where we go to a lot um, if we go on the ferry. So um, we're going to Bernal Heights. And uh, what we'll do there is check out this really a uh, cool looking coffee shop we saw online called Progressive Ground. So I hope it lives up to the name. Apparently it's supposed to be really cool and I'm really looking forward to seeing this new area. Um, so yeah, uh, we will hopefully be there not too long. Okay, so I did actually kind of look up what the heights meant. So I think I was half right in that if something is called heights, it's usually because it's higher than the places in the surrounding area. But there is a bit of uh, more history, which is a fun fact that I found out, uh, is that uh, back in the day, um, heights was sometimes an area that just basically was a bit more wealthier than another area. So that area might have been called heights, not just because of the heights, but because it was a bit more fancy than other areas. So fun fact for you there. Um, but yeah, we're almost there and it didn't take too long, so uh, hopefully it's uh, as uh, beautiful as uh, it's supposed to be. <laughs> so 
so it doesn't take too long but as you can see everyone's really really friendly already and it looks like a really cute place so uh, we're just exploring at this point beautiful area and what's the name of the coffee place that we're going to? Progressive Grounds Progressive Grounds so as you can see it's pretty colourful and it really has that kind of villagey vibe um, there are lots and lots of cute shops there and as you can see we could see progressive grounds across the road so at this point I'm really hoping it's as lovely as it is on the inside as it is on the outside um, so we're just going to do a circle round and explore as we look around. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> hello. Hello, everybody. Hey, Hughes. All How's right. it going? Good. I don't, I don't even know if it's actually recording. So at this point we were in progressive ground so we found the coffee shop that we wanted to go to it was really 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 cute we had an awesome time um, so at this point you can see that uh, we've got ourselves some pastries and coffees and we're just kind of chilling it's not too packed at the moment um, who's just having some breakfast as well some muesli which was very yummy um, and yeah so we were just basically chilling chatting to families so at this point everyone in the Netherlands where my husband is from or from London is still awake so we're kind of just saying hi facetiming um, uh, doing whatsapp video calls and just saying hi um, and yeah we're having a chat between each other so we're just really enjoying it at this point so um, we actually stayed in there for ages just having a good time, chilling out, and as we sat through this, it actually got really packed, and what we didn't know, and you'll see this in a bit, is that that is uh, quite a, a popular chess kind of uh, meeting uh, place, or just like hangout place for people playing chess. Um, so it was really, really nice to see all types of people, all ages, just hanging out there, um, having a coffee and some snacks and just enjoying their morning and so that was really awesome.
Uh, so as you can see now, we're a bit further on in our little kind of chill out time at the coffee place and you can see it's packed with people just uh, playing chess. Uh, we had no idea this would happen but it was really cool so you can see here um, I'm also getting you a glimpse of the lovely garden and all the greenery that they had. Um, so yeah, it was super cute and um, at this point we're leaving, we were sad to go, but you can see all the people playing chess here um, and it was really cool and it's got the kind of uh, central perk vibe which was just so cosy on such a rainy day so that was a lot of fun and yeah that's just us uh, putting our drinks away and heading off to the next place which was Chinatown. So, uh, bye, Burner Heights. We're just kind of like sad to go at this point, but we had a wonderful time. And that's a bigger view of what the whole street looks like. So you can see it was really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we are heading down uh, back to the other part of the city. So you can see the skyline there already. So uh, we're on the motorway at the moment, heading to Chinatown. It's a Saturday, but uh, it looks like we have like loads of traffic and lots of cars, but try that in London, you will not get anywhere. Um, so this is why we Uber around the city. It's a very uh, car friendly town, even though it's a city, which is, you know, quite rare. Um, but here we are, we're in Chinatown. So this is what that looks like. That's really cool. And we're here to actually see a show. So you might see a bit of that in a second. Um, and yeah, this is what Chinatown looks like. Now in Chinatown. So we made it from a very long, beautiful coffee. And we're now in Chinatown. It's still light. So we're going to see what Chinatown has to offer today. Definitely. Off we go. Okay, so we got to the theatre that we were going to to see if, uh, a reading, a poetry reading, uh, but it was actually one going on, so we had to wait a little while. So this is us just waiting to get it. And here it was. It was uh, we caught the end of it, but it was a really talented poet who actually was blind. Uh, it was amazing, um, and definitely uh, we have to check it out again. So yeah, after the theatre, which was totally awesome, and we had to go back again, I am just treating myself to a guilty pleasure. And um, so this great matcha place uh, in Chinatown in Japantown, just uh, doing that and uh, looking around. So yeah, after that we headed home. I hope you enjoyed the glimpse into a day in a life. So this is just heading back to our apartment. And um, I think Hoos went over to get some packages while I headed up, but uh, this is us back at our apartment building. And that's typically what a day in the life looks like uh, for a weekend. But again, it's a lot of our weekends can be completely different. And today we just chose to check out that new area. Let me know uh, if you know something in San Francisco that you'd like me to vlog about or go to. But I'll definitely do these more if you enjoy them. Uh, let me know if you want what, what type of day you would like. Or if you have any other requests, let me know. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for coming on this uh, weekend vlog journey with me. And I'll see you in my next video. I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers as well. You can see me probably trying to say bye at the end of that video. And I'll have a clip in the second with me and Hoos just kind of saying bye for the night and uh, good night uh, once we got home and started chilling out for the evening. Okay, so we're back now and we had an awesome day in Burno Heights, right? 
Brennell Heights. Brennell Heights, yeah. Brennell Heights. And we also had a great time in Chinatown, so uh, that was That's a typical good. Saturday. We tried a different uh, neighbourhood, but we typically like to grab a coffee, see something in the town, and there's always something on. So until the next vlog, um, see you later. Bye-bye.